Okay. Time to pull myself together. Sure, it's my first time meeting the CEO, but I've got an amazing product here, and it'll make him like me. Sir, your secretary said you were ready to see my product demo. May I enter? You may. Set it up on my desk. Yes, sir. There, all set. I'd like to say how proud I am to have helped design this. It's taken six years of my life, but I'm sure... I don't sure... care about your life. Tell me exactly how it works, in plain English, no technobabble. It's a very technical device. Get to the point. Well, it's basically a replicator. Any item you insert into the left side comes out doubled on the right side. A very precise copy, indistinguishable on a molecular level. Heard we were working on something like that. Just like in one of those sci-fi stories, eh? What do you project as the potential immediate applications? Well, I'm glad you asked me that instead of leaving it to marketing. Our replicator can completely revolutionize human life. One replicator in a village can produce enough food to feed everyone. One replicator can duplicate batteries to give all the energy the village needs. Expensive medicines can become freely duplicatable, saving millions of lives. A patient can give himself a replicated blood transfusion, or we can even replicate human organs. All the world's most powerful and complicated devices can be duplicated in whatever quantity the world desires. From now on, people will only need to produce just one of anything and the replicator will do the rest. How much do you think it'll sell for? I wouldn't like to say. Market analysis isn't my department. But I suppose you can give me a general ballpark idea of how much it'll cost to make, right? Um, yes. It won't cost anything to make. This is a complicated piece of equipment. Your department has spent millions developing this prototype. How can you possibly say that? Well, you see, sir, a replicator can replicate another replicator. Can we stop unauthorized people from doing that? The quantum replication process doesn't actually store data in any way that can be processed, so it's impossible to lock out particular patterns of data. So, as soon as we sell one, our customer can undercut us, giving away as many as he wants to everyone he knows. What about the power required to run the replicator? Doesn't that limit reproduction? I'm afraid not, sir. It uses a very expensive set of batteries. But again, anyone can replicate a hundred sets of batteries before they wear out. Here, replicate this. Hundred dollar bill, sir? Alright. <laughs> There you go, $200. Is there no way at all to tell these bills apart? The nature of the process means they're identical at a quantum level. It's impossible to create a security feature which can't be copied. Wait here a moment. I've got a bad feeling about this. What are you doing? Stay back.
my god, sir, what have you done? That was totally unique and priceless, and it'll take years to replace. All plans and materials relating to the project must be destroyed. If money can be duplicated, inflation becomes infinite, and money becomes worthless. Any other item we might try to barter with could be duplicated as easily. Most jobs would disappear into obsolescence overnight, the economy would crater, there'd be chaos. Respectfully, sir, would that matter as long as it gives everyone everything they want? Put a gun in and get enough to supply an army out. Put enriched uranium in and get as much as you want out. Put a nuclear bomb into the replicator and you can get as many as you want out. This invention would destroy our world. In fact, as long as you live, the knowledge in your head represents a clear and present danger to national security. I'll have to hold you here until an agent arrives to dispose of you. Security to the CEO's office, please. Miss Johnson, please get the Department of Homeland Security on the phone for me. Well, that sure didn't work out quite as well as I hoped it would. You have listened to The Replicator. Written, produced, acted, and directed by Paul Nerum. Sound effects courtesy of freesound.org. Music courtesy freepd.com. <laughs>